Hello there, I'm Jimmy Vegas, this is how to create a Grand Theft Auto style game in Unity and welcome to episode 37. In this tutorial we are going to start focusing on our ammo, so we want to be able to pick up ammo and we also want to be able to limit ammo, so when we fire we can fire infinitely at the moment, we're going to sort that out. Don't forget, click the subscribe button and click on the bell icon as well to stay up to date with every tutorial still to come in this series and everything else on game development on my channel. With that in mind, let's get to work. So at the moment, uh, our pistol, when we pick it up, uh, we can fire infinitely, like I say. And I think, realistically, we shouldn't be able to do that. So I want to be able to pick up the pistol and have no shots, but then pick up some ammo, say, round here, and then we'll have 15 shots. And obviously every time we fire, we want it to decrease by one until we have zero and can no longer fire. So I think we'll start with bringing in um, like an ammo crate. So let's go game object, 3D object and cube. And I want the ammo crate to be probably around here somewhere. So I think that should probably do the trick around about there. Uh, turn off mesh renderer and tick is trigger. And let's rename that cube to ammo crate. And now let's head to the asset store and let's search for ammo. Obviously we want a prop, so let's tick prop. And we want it to be free because everything we do here is free. Now there are plenty to choose from, some nice uh, little packs that you can find, but I have gone with this one. I've downloaded it and I think it's done pretty much all I need it to do. It's decent enough. So import, download, whatever you need to. If you don't want to use this one, use a different one. It is, like I say, 100% up to you. And all credit for this asset goes to the creator, not me. I didn't create this. This is created by Beat Heart Creative Studios. So once that's in your scene, as it is with me, I have gone ahead and imported it to save just a little bit of time. I'm going to drag and drop this ammo crate into our ammo crate object. And there it is right there. Let's rotate it by 180. And let's just bring it down to the ground. There we go. And all we really need to do with this is just be able to collect it. Now, I will point out that this ammo box does indeed have an animation attached. If you would like to animate it, i.e. if you want to open the box as it does indeed do that. I'm not going to. I'm just going to use it as a collection object. So walk into it, it disappears and we get some ammo. But again, it, it really is entirely up to you how you deal with this and how you want to collect your own ammunition. So next thing to do is let's go to our canvas. Let's go to our ammo count and let's actually set this to zero. We need to be zero to begin with. We also need a script to uh, kind of keep count of how much ammo we have at any given time. So we're able to only fire when we have ammunition. So let's go to our scripts folder and let's go to UI. And let's right click create C sharp script and we'll call this global ammo. So this will keep count of every type of ammunition we have, whether it's a you know, pistol, um, whether it'll end up being a shotgun, SMG, rocket launcher, whatever, when we get around to creating those eventually. So all we need to keep in here for now is the amount of pistol uh, shots that we have. And that needs to be static. So public static int pistol shots semicolon. Now the idea of what we're going to do here is this script is going to keep track and display just how much um, we have displaying on our screen as well. And that means that we need to edit the namespace at the top to say using unity engine dot ui semicolon and fundamentally what we're going to do now uh, it's entirely up to you how you do it you don't necessarily have to do it the exact same way but as long as you update the ui element whenever um, a shot has been fired or you've received ammo that's all you need to worry about so we need to add in the ui element as a variable as well so public game object ammo display and I'm just going to go with the quickest and easiest way and to be honest at the moment the size of the game it doesn't really matter 
too much about how you're doing this. Um, let's get rid of Void Start and the annotations because we don't need them. So ammo display dot get component and in spiky brackets text up close bracket dot text equals we'll do a double quotation plus pistol shots semicolon and like I say this is another one of those scripts that will end up changing um, as we go further into development because let's say when we finally pick up a shotgun or something or an SMG assault rifle whatever uh, we'll need to display that differently than our pistol so for now though it's all good as it stands so what's going to happen here is it'll say whatever we have as pistol shots because by default it will be zero um, it'll display it as zero but obviously we'll still be able to fire at the moment so for now let's just save that script that will do just fine at the moment uh, let's go back to unity and let's start looking at creating an object where we can have all of this on so we have world mechanics so i'm going to right click and create empty and drag it out of world mechanics to there and let's also bring tony out of world mechanics let's put him by the npcs and i think let's bring sequence holder into world mechanics now this game object is going to contain a lot of global um everything really when we get to cash and all stuff like that so let's have this as globals and i think we may end up moving the global hints at some point but for now we're just working on ammunition so let's put global ammo onto the globals object and the ammo display is going to be ammo count so let's save that right now and press play and just make sure that it does indeed say zero when we are in the game because if it doesn't, then we've encountered an error already. And this should be zero. And it is. Excellent. So, we have zero ammunition or zero pistol shots in this case. So, next thing we need to do is we need to create a trigger for this section here to add, let's say, 15 shots to our pistol. So, let's go to our weapons. Let's right click, create, C sharp script, and call it ammo crate um, pistol. I guess you can call it anything really. It could just be generic ammo crate. It's entirely up to you. And all this will need to be is one quick and simple script. And it's going to be. Oh, we don't need them. We need it to be a trigger. So void on trigger enter does not need to be private. We can get rid of that. And we need to say global ammo dot. And if we scroll down the list, we can find pistol shots plus equals 15 semicolon. So there we're adding 15 shots at the same time. We also need to make the game object disappear. So this dot game object dot set, not send message, set active false. So we basically turn it off. Save, head back to Unity, and then let's attach that script to our weapon crate, our ammo crate which is right there. So make sure we attach it to the original cube we put in, not the uh, model itself. So now whenever we trigger that, we should add 15. So let's quickly check that out and make sure it works. So whether we've got hold of the pistol or not, we should still be able to collect that ammo. Then obviously the next thing to do is to be able to fire the weapon when we've got ammo and not be able to fire it when we don't have any. So there's our weapon crate and there's our 15 shots. You can add a sound effect to that if you want to. Um, we might do it at some point. I, I don't think I have a sound effect lined up for this tutorial, but fundamentally, I guess you could use the pistol 
um, sound effect to add to it. So the next thing to do is we need to go to our uh, firing pistol script right there. And what we need to do is there are a couple of different ways you can do this. You can either directly reference that other script or you can um, have a variable in here that will constantly do that. Now I'm thinking the best way to do it is directly reference the script, but we'll see what happens. So we want to be able to aim the pistol, but not fire it if we have zero ammo. So that's going to have to go here where we've got is aiming is true and input get mouse button down is zero. So we're pressing the left mouse button to fire at that point. So we cannot fire if we have zero. So we need another if statement nested here. So we need to say if and in brackets global ammo dot pistol shots is greater than zero then do the following. So open curly bracket. We don't need the close curly bracket just yet. And after we've got start coroutine, the fire pistol, there we put our close curly bracket. So at this point, we are saying that if we have ammo, then we can fire. If we have zero or less, obviously we can't have less because it won't go to a negative, then we cannot fire. But at the same time, we also have to be mindful that we are indeed firing a shot. So where we've got is firing equals true here and pistol shot dot play. After that, we need to put global ammo dot pistol shots minus equals one semicolon and save. So what's happening here is we are saying that if we've got more than zero, then fire, but also take one away. So that ultimately means that we are decreasing our ammo gradually. So there is our ammo limit. And obviously we've got the pickup in place, which means that, yeah, we can pick it up and then fire all 15. Now it is also worth pointing out that even if we have no ammo, the NPC will still react to us pulling out our pistol on them, simply because the NPC doesn't know whether we've got ammo or not, just like in real life. So whether we do have ammo or not, the NPC will still react to us uh, when we draw our weapon on them. So let's head back into Unity. And let's press play. And let's check all of this out. So we're going to go pick up the pistol. And we're going to try, try and fire it. We shouldn't be able to. We're then going to go pick up our ammo. And then we will be able to fire it. And when we get to zero, we should not be able to fire it again. So let's make sure this whole thing works as intended. So there's our pistol and I am clicking my left mouse button and it is doing nothing, which is good to see. And there's our ammo. Perfect. So let's get it all gone. Nothing. And there we go. Awesome. So now we have limitations to our ammo. So ultimately, that is all we really need to do in that sense. Uh, and that same method will work for any weapon that we have. As long as we limit it like so, we shouldn't have a problem when we come to doing other weapons further down the line. So next tutorial, what I want to do is I want to create a simulated wanted level. And what I mean by that is I want us to actually encounter uh, a star appearing. So we're going to simulate it just by shooting an NPC for now. And once we've shot the NPC, I want that star to appear to say that maybe a cop has seen us, maybe it's heard something and we have that wanted level. It's, it's fairly simple, but it's something that we're going to have to advance later on, uh, which is going to be a lot of fun, believe me. So until the next tutorial, guys, thank you very much for watching.